today we're going to be making the spider-man custom mask it looks really cool it's actually surprisingly easy to do you just gotta follow a couple easy steps but you can customize your boring face mask into a spider-man custom mask now if you haven't watched my previous video uh, where I made the Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul custom mask video I recommend you guys check it out it was a pretty cool design and I'm sure a lot of people want to learn how to make your own custom Kaneki mask so if you want to check that out I'll leave a link in the card so you can go directly to uh, to the video as well as in the description I'll leave the playlist to all of the videos that I have of my custom mask videos in the description down below. I did tell you guys that I was gonna make a lot more custom masks. So if you guys have suggestions for future designs, let me know. But apart from that, let's get right into the video. All right, so as you can see here, I pretty much sort of played around a little bit with mask designs and I narrowed it down to four designs, two different uh, web patterns. Now I did a poll on my Instagram to ask you guys specifically which one you guys prefer. Actually, the most popular one was these two, but most people actually prefer this one. And personally, I prefer this one as well now if you want to participate in the design picking part of the process definitely follow me on instagram if i have a design that i'm not exactly sure which one to go with i always go to my instagram and ask you guys personally i prefer this one if i were to pick from this two i'd obviously prefer this one because the spider here kind of looks out of place if i were to add the spider i actually go with this pattern design because the pattern design kind of focuses on the spider but if i were to remove the spider i'd actually go with the pattern of the source so in today's video i'm going to be making this design but if you want to make any of the other designs feel free to do so i'm gonna be making this one but if you want to add a spider on top of that on your own it's totally fine all right so the materials that we're going to be using are first obviously a mask preferably a reusable mask secondly we're going to be using a pbo set of color 46 passion red any acrylic or opaque paint will do the job thirdly we're going to be using a permanent marker preferably a thicker nib because thin nibs dry real quickly a chalk to sketch out the drawing and lastly we're going to be needing a bowl a cup to fill with water as well as a paintbrush so let's get right into it all right so the first thing that i did here was to use the chalk to kind of sketch out the web pattern on the mask now this part isn't compulsory you can skip it because we're pretty much just gonna use red to paint on top of it anyway so if you want to sketch it beforehand personally i recommend it because it helps kind of put a mental sort of image in your head kind of like a foundation basically before you start doing the actual painting and once we start painting we're gonna try our best to respect the lines not completely leaning towards almost nothing but just a little bit will help us to place the patterns later on but once we add the painting we're gonna sketch on top of it anyway so you don't it's not completely necessary to do so if you don't want to all right so once we've done that now i'm going in with the red the red that i'm using is from the brand called pbo seta color it's a brand that makes colors specifically for fabric painting or cloth painting which pretty much sticks and stands out from the fabric really really easily because it's an opaque paint but if you can't afford something like this uh, I recommend you get I don't know I think regular acrylics should work or any opaque painting should work just as fine as we're painting this uh, I tried my best to respect the lines as much as possible but in the end we're just gonna paint over it feel free to just go ham just color the entire thing in red because it's pretty useless to respect it so Once we're done with one side, I recommend you let the other side dry a little bit before working on the other side. Or you could just split the mask open and work on both sides simultaneously. But I personally feel like this part of the process really doesn't require a lot of uh, symmetry. So let one side sit for a couple minutes and then turn it around and start working on the other side.
All right, so once we're done with both sides, this is the first pass because once it dries, the paint is kind of see-through a little bit. So it's not completely opaque. It's not like a solid color. So I recommend that you paint it a second time, which sticks to the previous pass and makes the color stand out a little bit more. And it's a little bit neater. I personally recommend you only do two passes. If you want to, you can do three passes if you're really like that determined for it to completely stand out. But personally, I feel like two passes is more than enough um, and also it prevents you from wasting paint which is uh, something that we don't want to do obviously because you know our supplies are expensive so two should be pretty much enough for what we're trying to achieve here All right, so once we are done with uh, the second pass and we've let it rest a little bit, you could go with the third pass, but I don't recommend it. All you wanna do is uh, go with the chalk again, go on top of it just so that, you know, double check the lines. I don't wanna wing it. So I went in again with the chalk on top of the mask and don't worry about it, chalk removes pretty easily. So once you're done with the inking, you can pretty much just remove it with your hand and it'll remove pretty easily. So in this design, as I mentioned, I'm not adding the, uh, the spider in the very middle, but if you wanna add the spider later on what you can do once we are done with the mask completely what you can do is use a white paint and then paint in the spider in yourself just let it dry and once you add in the white paint it should stick pretty well and you shouldn't have any problems but one problem with that is I recommend you pay attention to both sides because symmetry is gonna be really important when it comes to adding something in the middle of a mask like this if it was a flat mask it'll be different because you know you don't have to keep in mind both sides but with this mask like that is clearly separated in the middle it's a little bit harder to keep in mind the symmetry um, especially if you're adding something right at the very middle open the mask as many times as, you as possible and you shouldn't have any problems all right so once we are done with the sketch uh, we're gonna go in with the marker now I first went with a very thin nibbed marker the problem with thin nibbed marker is that it dries up pretty easily when you paint on textures like this so I had to go in with a thicker marker which doesn't really dry up as easy I mean it totally depends on you if your marker keeps getting dried up what you can do is just to a side to like a paper or something just write on it a couple times just to bring out the ink again and then go back and continue with the painting now a problem with using thick nib markers is that the lines are really really thick <laughs> so I did make a couple little mistakes so actually inking while doing something like this is easily fixable you can repaint on top of it without any problem so don't feel like anything is like completely permanent because if there is a mistake or something like that all you can do is just go back with the red and then paint on top of it and it's completely fixed and if you really didn't want any of those lines at all you can just repaint the entire mask again with another layer and it's like brand new again That's about it. That's uh, the final mask. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little tutorial session here of customizing your own face mask. Now, if you guys want to add your own sort of spin to it you can if you want to add the little spider in the middle of it you can uh, personally i wouldn't i feel like there's no need to do that but if you prefer to do it you can feel free to experiment don't feel obligated to follow this tutorial specifically i had four different designs if you want to try any other designs that i did you can or feel free to 
make your own original face mask design if you like the video please hit the thumbs up guys it helps me a ton to know that you guys are liking the videos and share this video with all of your friends anyone who thinks this video might be fun entertaining or educational in a way just share it with all your friends it helps the algorithm make this video reach a lot more people and if you're new to the channel subscribe definitely subscribe i'm gonna be making a ton more custom mask videos so don't worry about that uh, yeah thank you all for liking comment sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.